There was a little problem though in Travis County this morning. It meant some couldn't cast their ballots. Now we had viewers reaching out to us via reported at KXAN.com to tell us about this issue. So we sent Jayla Washington to figure out what happened. Yeah, probably not news you're hoping to hear on election day when you know you've got work or other things to do. One of those locations with issues here at Lago Vista High School. But now you can see people seemingly going in and out. No problems. Spirits high voters excited to just be here on election day. This even with voting issues across Travis County. A county clerk in a statement told us their office found a data issue this morning that impacted about 1% of registered voters. They say they fixed the problem quickly and gave voters the option to vote provisionally if they couldn't wait. They say they resolved the issue as of 1030 this morning. In Lago Vista specifically, voters at both the high school and Christchurch voting locations dealt with issues. That's according to voters and officials on site. And it was like, wow, this is kind of frustrating because this is what people have been complaining about is these election machines. And there were two other couples that came behind us. One of them did end up leaving and he was mumbling words. He wasn't too happy. Well, for the past two weeks in early voting here in Travis County, um, especially here in Lago Vista, we didn't experience any issues that I was aware of and other voters. And to have this issue pop up on election day just seemed very odd. Now again, this was a countywide problem, but a Travis County clerk tells us uh, all issues resolved as of 1030 this morning. You've got until 7 o'clock tonight to get out here and cast your ballot. Reporting along with this to Jayla Washington, KXAN News. All right, thanks to Jayla for that, and the Texas GOP tweeted it heard reports of some Republicans being unable to vote due to an update to the voter rolls. Now, I recommend people vote by provisional ballot in that case. We did reach out to Travis County to find out what happened. The county clerk's office says voters should tell staff on site at any polling location if they're having any problems or just call their office directly. Now going in depth for primaries, the parties negotiate how the election will play out, which is then carried out by the Travis County clerk. So the parties did not reach an agreement until December, which of course impacts how tonight's vote count will go. If you voted in the Republican primary by mail, your votes will be hand counted by seven tonight. The Republican Party also pushed for a hand count of early votes, but it couldn't secure the resources to get that done. So if you voted or plan to vote in person, your ballot will be tallied by machine. Now, if you're voting in the Democratic primary, all votes are machine counted. The Travis County Clerk expects the first big chunk of results will come out around 1030 tonight, with all results expected to be released by no later than early tomorrow morning.